Fifth Harmony singer Normani Corday says she has confronted racism her entire life, but even she was shocked by the deluge of bigotry from anonymous internet trolls that she says drove her off social media. Her response, a deeply personal performance on Dancing with the Stars. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. The first couple who will be dancing in the finals next week is Normani and Val. Earlier tonight, Normani Corday made it all the way to ABC's Dancing with the Stars final three. I know you're always on that night she is, of course, one fraction of Fifth Harmony. Yeah, work from home. I felt really alone. But it's the 20 year old's bold confession from last week that will live so much longer in the memory. I got bullied, like, terribly on social media. I did an interview, it was taken out of context completely, and there were images, people were calling me like the N word. Like, it was really ugly. And the contemporary dance that inspired. One over Len, the traditionalist. They were spellbound, and so was I. There you go. Scored a perfect 40. 40 out of 40. Dancing to Freedom by Anthony Hamilton and Elena Boynton. The message be yourself, love who you are, ignore the haters. Then she sat down with us. Are you ever concerned that you're going to stir up the haters? Again. I think that it's a conversation that needed to be talked about, and it's my responsibility to talk about it. And then Camila. Fifth Harmony was touring when Normani gave this interview to Galore magazine. Camila. Very quirky. That tiny pause unleashed a torrent of vile trolling. I was getting racial slander, images of me being hung, whipped, beaten. And um, it really affected me. Maybe I'm just being a naive middle-aged white man, but I'm surprised at the racial yeah. aspect of this. I, right. I really am, from a younger generation. Right. Apparently, some people thought she was dissing a bandmate. Being shady, as they call it, as the kids call it nowadays. And I was not. She apologized for any inadvertent defense. It got worse. And do you know who any of these people were who no. were attacking you on social just, media? Just trolls. <laughs> Sadly, cyberbullying is now an ever-present fear for middle schoolers and stars alike. Brought into sharp focus last summer when SNL's Leslie Jones was forced to quit Twitter after racist and misogynist Someone trolling when the all-female Ghostbusters reboot came out. She tweeted, it's just too much, it shouldn't be like this, so hurt right now. Twitter took action, banned a ringleader, then Jones' website was hacked. She hit back <laughs> with humor on SNL. If you want to see Leslie Jones naked, just ask! <laughs> Romani last summer was also trolled into quitting all social media. And I feel like then I became the more reserved and closed off person. Uh -huh. And I get afraid of letting people in. Romani came to fame back in 2012 on The X Factor, one of the teen girls molded by Simon Cowell into Fifth Harmony, young stars of the internet age. Romani Corday and Val. That's Normani's Dancing with the Stars partner, Val Jmerkovsky. The older generation isn't really understanding what that is, you know? They look at, oh, it's just a computer, don't read it. Do you need to have a social media profile? Really? I do, it's part of my job. Normani was raised in New Orleans. Well, I went to a predominantly white school and I stuck out because I was the black girl, but I would get teased for the color of my skin and wonder why. I remember we were playing outside and the first thing that this girl, this little girl could tell me was, leave me alone, you burnt biscuit. Like, where do you, where do you get that from, especially being so young? Is it worse the second grader in the playground or the multitudes of faceless people on social media? It, honestly, it felt the same. So is this, dancing every Monday night on TV for entertainment and maybe just a little more. Going back to the dance, I hope that I was vocal enough. I think that at the end of the day, us as humans, we just need to really be more sympathetic towards each other. Do you still get some of that hate? Yeah, 
every day. What I learned and how to deal with it is recognizing that it has absolutely nothing to do about me. It's genuinely an insecurity that other people have within themselves or something that they lack that you may have. I was scared for so long to say exactly what it is that I had felt. It was just taking courage and luckily people did support me and a lot of people were inspired by my story too. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline, Los Angeles.